Hey everybody, it's CompHelp. Thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple Twitter banner. Okay, so pretty much in this video, you probably saw a little banner pop up on the bottom left corner of the tutorial. Well, I'm going to show you how to make something very simple, and the cool thing is you can customize it however you want. Now, you can go ahead and use GIMP or any any photo editing program, any graphics program that you'd like, but today I'm going to be using Photoshop CS3. I know I'm a little out of date, but oh well, CS3 works for me, right? So, all right, here's how I normally do it, okay? First off, go to File, go to New, and Background Contents to Transparent. Now, what do you record your videos in? What do you export your videos in when you upload it to YouTube? This is the size that you want to get because we're going to base the size of the banner by this, okay? Uh, this is my favorite way to do it. There's plenty of other ways to do this, okay? So, I usually export my videos in 1280 by 720 pixels, okay? And make sure it's in color, RGB, RC, MYK, it doesn't matter, and click OK. All right. So this is pretty much the uh, screen size that I export my videos in for YouTube, okay? Now the important thing here is to get the rectangle tool and make sure it's on a rounded rectangle tool. To get that menu, just hold your button down, okay? And pretty much you can put this color to whatever you want. Black is fine. I like to click off a little bit. Uh, this way it cuts off the rounded edges on this side and then make the banner as big as I want it to show up on the video. Okay, so maybe about right there. So that's how the banner is going to look when I export all my video. Okay. So now what I want to do right here is I want to get rid of all this excess area. So I'm going to go to image uh, trim and click OK. All right. So that's pretty much my banner. Now all I have to do is go back and edit that. So you can do anything you want here okay now once you have the size down you're just it's all you here okay don't just copy what I do I want you to base your ideas off of what I do and make something new that's the best way to be original here so what I like to do is right click the layer and go to blending options and I like to go to gradient overlay now this is going to be a Twitter banner so I'm gonna go ahead and select like two different blues okay so you can see this I'll move this here Okay, so the bottom one, maybe a lighter blue. Okay. I don't know. Like, let's just try that. And then the other side, a darker blue. Like that. Okay. It's kind of Twitter themed, I guess. And then just click OK. And I think that looks pretty nice. So, I mean, you can add more effects if you want, whatever you need to. But let's just make this really simple. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer here and get out my text select this color to black what I did here is just select this rectangle up here change it to black okay so then just click onto your banner okay this is probably too big of a size so let's lower this down to like 10 for now test it out alright looks pretty good you know what I'm gonna change this to white see how that looks alright okay now I'm gonna say follow me on Twitter alright and this is where your designing skills come in Pretty much. All right, that's nice. And I'll make another one here, and I'll do just like that. Okay, I'll probably make this a little bit bigger. You know, it just all depends on what you're going for here. Just go ahead and rearrange your letters how you want it. All right. You know, just this is kind of lame and unattractive but you get the point okay now I left this blank space here on purpose because what I found is a icon website at iconspedia.com I actually found a freeware icon provided by fasticon.com okay I think this is pretty cool it's a Twitter icon and what I want to do here is go and download this PNG I like to download the biggest one just because and I actually want to save the file okay and now it's going to save it. And all right, now I have that icon there. I can exit my internet browser now. I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to Place. And there it is, the Twitter PNG I found. Just so you can see, I don't know if you'll. Yep, there it is. I'll click Place. All right, now I can place that right there. 
make this a bit smaller and there we go okay so that's pretty much my little banner you can make this a little bit better if you want let me see I can uh, rasterize this blending options let me see um, about a stroke nah that does not look cool shadow drop shadow and there we go there we go now it has a shadow and uh, there you go it's a really simple simple little banner there but you get the point okay so once you have your little banner there make sure you save this as a PNG alright once you save this as a PNG you have to save it as a PNG or else if you notice you we have some blank pixels here okay or else that will show up as white and we don't want that we want it to show up as a nice curve right there a nice curve right there so file save as save it under desktop wherever you want and so visit dot png and name this twitter banner okay click save done or okay whatever it was and now you have it right here go ahead and open it with firefox just to preview it i like to preview my <laughs> images with firefox not show sure why and okay there is our banner up and running Okay, so if you want to apply this banner to your videos using Camtasia Studio or any other program, I'm going to show in Camtasia Studio in a later video, but if you want to add this to another program, look for, I don't know, adding an image to your video or something. I wouldn't know how to do it in Sony Vegas or something, because I really don't use that program. Um, I'm pretty sure it's easy to do, though. Anybody in the comments, go ahead, tell people how. I don't know. I'm sure you know how. Okay, so look forward to the Camtasia Studio video to apply this. It's called a custom callout. So there you go. Uh, if you already know how to add custom callouts, you already know what I'm going to show you. So go ahead and use this in whatever. So there you go, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Or, or, or guys and girls. I always say guys, but you know what I mean for the general audience. Thank you, general audience, um, for watching this video. It really means a lot to me. I know I haven't been making a lot of videos lately, but I have things going on here to find out why there's a lack of videos. You can check out my vlog channel at youtube.com slash vvphonevv. Feel free to subscribe to that channel. I try to make a video every day. It's a vlog video channel. You know, just meet you around the camera and start talking. And yes, you'll be able to see my face and stuff there. See what I look like. Yes. Anyways, check out my website at comphelp.com. Check out my blog at comphelp.info. Follow me on Twitter right here, duh. Twitter.com slash comphelp. And if you are interested in making some extra money online like I do, check out cashcrate.biz. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.